the possibilities are just endless with this thing. It's mm -hmm. kind of crazy. So easy to use. Yeah. You can use it for basically anything. The new Rode Wireless Go 2. They really thought of everything. And I think the coolest thing is that it comes with... Hello everyone, welcome to Unfiltered. I'm Tay, this is David. We are around the drum to talk about the new Rode Wireless Go 2. Oh yeah. They have upgraded their original Wireless Go, which uh, debuted back in 2019, mm -hmm. but they have upped the ante this time and made the Wireless Go into dual transmitters. So now we have two channels that you can do. Uh, you can do up to two mono for like, you know, two different channels. And then you could also whoop, put them together. <laughs> so it's uh, it's awesome. Uh, David, what did you think when you first heard about this? I was really excited because the dual channel uh, workability is a feature that was requested on the original Wireless Go by most of the user base. Yeah, uh, It's super useful for uh, interviews and honestly for something we would do like mm -hmm. uh, music streaming, especially for musicians right now. Like Streaming is huge for live performance. If you, if you have like an acoustic duo, you can uh, do that in stereo. Uh, it's even useful for things like gaming, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. So it, it does have a ton of uses. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can explore those, you know, yourself uh, in, in a lot of different ways. Um, and so, I don't know, it's very, very powerful, I'm finding out. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, actually. Um, so basically, it's got two transmitters. Um, and those are wireless, of course, hence the name. <laughs> and then it comes back to a like a, a, tra a receiver that you can you know put and connect to your digital SLR. You could hook it up to a computer via USB. Via USB, um, you could put it on you know wherever you want it. To you, be. you can even connect directly to an iPhone. Yes. With uh, their USB to lightning adapter. And Android. And Android. Really? And yep. it? Wow. Yep. Like this thing covers, I think, all bases. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not for a specific unit or a certain uh, operating system. It's for everybody. Literally, like if you're a vlogger, you can use this very easily with Android and iPhone mm -hmm. usage. If you're a gamer, you can use this very easily with going right to the computer. Yeah. <laughs> and if you are uh, an interviewer, a documentarian, or something—is that the right word? I don't—I don't even sure, know. Sure, I like that. Reporter, right. <laughs> a reporter, or a filmmaker, um, I don't know, vlogger, you know, reporter, anything. It, it, the possibilities are just endless with this thing. It's mm -hmm. kind of crazy. Yeah, and so tell me—it's got uh, the microphone on each uh, transmitter. Is yes, the mic—it's it, an omni capsule uh, microphone built into each transmitter. Okay, and uh, it also comes with uh, windscreens that clip right into it oh yeah they kind of like lock into place yeah they call them bayonet windscreens yeah they used them back in the war <laughs> right uh, which <laughs> war was that <laughs> the war for technology the wireless war <laughs> <laughs> um so it has the it has the windscreen it's an omnidirectional uh, mm -hmm. so you can kind of point it anywhere you want and it will still pick up uh, what you need right right um, in in the video uh that road produced um ryan from road cheers mate um, he, he had it pointing this way because it's easier to clip on mm -hmm. with the mic pointing to the side and it still sounded great. The, the transmitter also can attach to your uh, belt or your hip and mm -hmm. then you can actually plug an external lavalier microphone into that, uh, jack connected connector and then you could bring it up here and have a, la a regular lavalier setup. Which, right, right. Um, so really cool. it's. Again, more uses for this thing. It's insane. Should yeah. we talk about price before we go any further? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is this coming in as? Uh, it's starting off at two ninety nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I, I just feel like it, once you get this thing, you are pretty much going to be set for a long time with your wireless setup. Especially if you if you use it on the go, if you're doing you know podcast streaming, uh, all sorts of things. Like I think this is like. The, the solution and you don't have to use it in stereo um you know or use both channels you can use it use one uh one of the transmitters you know can, you only have to use one at a time. right right so it, I, I mean it's like you're getting the wireless go plus one yeah right. and so each transmitter uh is is its own channel but you can set it to have a stereo input into into the receiver mm -hmm. so you can actually have a stereo input it records like a, a stereo like a track um, yep. So you can you can use it that way if you want to. Um, 
each transmitter has an internal memory too, so um, you can actually use it, uh, you know, to record what you're doing without having anything, you know, external, you know, SD card. Or it's a good backup. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. This thing is kind of crazy. Um, yeah. So let's talk about this display. Yes. That thing is beautiful. LCD ex- yes. display on there. I am so glad they did not they did not make it touch screen. Yeah. Because that would have been a disaster, I think, <laughs> for people like me. Yeah. I'm terrible with touch screens, but it's really easy to use and operate. Uh, it's got the battery saving mode. Um, you can mm-hmm. switch between mono and stereo. You can mute different channels. So easy to use. Yeah. You can use it for basically anything. I wouldn't really use it in the studio, but... <laughs> well, maybe, you know. Maybe, yeah. If I'm doing live streams, maybe. It might sure. sound killer. Yeah, on the display, you can see battery life of each channel, the uh, the strength, the, the signal strength on each channel, mm-hmm. um, kind of what modes you're in. Um, but let's talk about how you change those settings. You actually go into what they're calling Road Central. Yes. And that's a new thing they're launching here. It's a free app that kind of can connect to the Wireless Go 2. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, you can bring it up. And you can change all sorts of things. You can see how much uh, memory storage you have in there. I think it mm-hmm. comes with like three gigs of memory, three and a half, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can change the, the backlight. You can update the firmware here um, in case there's you know some sort of important update feature that needs to happen. Um, you have a safety feature, a safety channel, they call it, a safety channel feature where you're actually using both transmitters and both microphones um, in, the, in stereo, but you have one that's your main one that you set, and then one behind it that's actually at a minus 20 dB level. So when you're recording, you're actually recording both, but the back one, the one that's, that's um, uh, quieter, is, is kind of like a safe one, where if you accidentally clip the first one, you can always go back and use that second one in case you have you know overloaded your microphone i feel like the thought of everything with this <laughs> yeah so like if you get super like ah, and then you're like oh man that stunk but that was the take you it can uh, you always have a safe backup <laughs> <laughs> um each transmitter has that usb port with the usb cable so you can actually charge it too and the battery charge lasts around six to seven hours which is plenty for most situations you can you can change the pad feature. So each transmitter has a pad button, mm-hmm. and usually that's like a like a default. It's like minus twenty four dB, and then it jumps to like minus twelve, and then it's like off or something like that. But this one you could actually go into a ten step uh, pad reduction sequence. You can change that on there too. Wow, that's uh, pretty so you amazing. You can actually go. All, you can really get specific with it. Wow, that's that's really cool. Like, yeah, they really thought of everything, and I think the coolest thing is that it comes with both transmitters already paired to the receiver. That is the worst part about wireless (laughs) gear is the pairing Mm -hmm. and making sure it's the right one and the right channel. These come ready to go right out of the box. Yeah, you don't have to like think about it. Um, You know, if if you're getting, you know, this for someone that's less tech savvy than you are, you just like, here, David, turn it on. (laughs) (laughs) So I, I really think Rode nailed it with this. They, they thought of everything, um, and I'm sure there's more things to come, but they thought of everything. Um, they kind of just made it easy to set up, and this thing is just really, really robust. I'm Every time I saw something new about it, I was surprised, and I was like, dang, okay, that's good. So yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'm excited. The, the uh, Rode um, Wireless Go original was, mm-hmm. I think it came in two colors, black and white. I think this one only comes in black, but maybe okay. we'll be surprised and see other colors. Maybe. Because, um, you know, if you have, you have, like, a white suit on. I suppose, yeah. You know, so. <laughs> That's another thing. Like, you can hide it behind a suit jacket mm-hmm. and have that microphone pointing right at you, and it's going to pick it up, and it sounds great. And Yeah. Man, I, I'm really impressed with this. I, I'm really glad Rode released this um, as a successor to the original. Uh, I, I think it's going to do really well. So good job, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to actually trying one of these out here in our studio for yeah. our projects. Um, I think uh, it's time to uh, give Rode a workout here. And uh, with their wireless technology, I think really advancing, I think it's time to uh, test this thing That's out. That's a good idea. So I don't know if you guys saw, but um, was it two years ago we, we did a podcast on a boat? Yeah. yeah. And uh, we tried a whole bunch of different microphones. And I think we might have to do that again and, and test this one out. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so... 
let us know what you think below. Uh, are you excited for this? Did you want the dual channels? Uh, is this exactly what you were looking for? Let us know below um, and tell us what you're excited about uh, with the Wireless Go 2. So we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you around the drum next time.